All right, so in the previous uh, screencast, I showed how we could build this app that auto responds to text coming in and also allows the user to change the um, message. So the user can type in, okay, uh, I'm in a plane, uh, submit it, and the message will change. So now if, if someone texted this phone, it would, it would send back, I'm in a plane. Okay, so we've got that. Now I want to add, you know, kind of, you know, a little some bells and whistles. But let's add um, some code so that it will actually speak out the text that comes in. So, so let's say you are driving your car and and you don't want to pick up your phone to respond to text. Well, you can auto respond, and you can also have the text spoken out loud. Um, it's actually pretty pretty easy to do because um, App Inventor provides some very high level. Um, components. In fact, one component is uh, the text-to-speech component. I think it's in other stuff, okay? And in other stuff, here's text-to-speech. Once again, it's a non-visible component, so there, there's where it appears. Um, there's a lot of technology in this component, but it's real easy to use. All right, so we're just going to add, you know, another thing is when we receive a message, we're going to want to speak something out. Okay, and the message we're going to speak, and let's just start real simple, is received a text. Okay, this is not what we're going to want in the end, but let's just see how it works. So basically with this speak block, you can put any text here and, and the phone will, will say it. Okay, so let's just send another message out. Um, how are you? Let's send that text out. Um, the text. Yeah, so you heard the voice, it just said received a text, and that was this app um, basically speaking out uh, in response to receiving the text. All right, so now let's do uh, make it a little more interesting. Let's, you know, what you really want is to hear um, what that text was. So you don't have to pick up the phone, but it'll tell you um, what the message was. Okay, and let's make it a little more complicated. Let's also say who told us um, or who sent us the text. So I'm going to grab a make a text block and this allows us to kind of put some text together. It's almost like addition for strings or for text. Okay and so I'm going to say received a text from. Okay and then I'm going to, I'm going to make sure there's a space in there. Oops sorry. So received a text from space, all right, and then I'm going to grab a reference to the number, and we can find that in my definitions. So now it's going to tell us who sent us the text, okay, and then I'm going to say message is, I'll put a space first, because we don't want those things to get connected in another space, so message is, and then finally what we really want is this message text, so let's stick that in there. Okay, so now we're going to speak out this kind of um, combination of these four different things. Some of it's just straight text, and but also the actual data we want to hear. All right, so let's just tr test it out. So it's me again. Okay, so he's going to send that text out and listen. Uh, make, let me make sure your volume's loud enough here. So he sends out that text. Received a text from 5,554 messages me again. Okay, sounds pretty good. So received the text from 5,554, <laughs> which is the number, and message is um, me again. And it goes real fast, but you know, at least you can kind of hear, hear the text.